Last year just dropped the release date for their game and we got some hints about what the new maps may be so let's check it out. First thing up the release date was just announced today that the game will be coming out December 12th 2018 so we're just two weeks away from the release. Now it releases on a day that I do have work but after work I will be coming home and streaming the game the day of launch. Now on their website and their Facebook page we actually got some new promotional art that actually shows off more of the new maps that are coming out. And yes I know some people are going to write it off as just promotional art and world building but I do believe that this is where the new maps will be taking place, at least one of them. According to the files names on the website this would be the garage. Now outside of that there's not much to go on other than the gate which means this also leads to another area and we can see the container like we saw inside the school where you can probably pick up scraps or an object. Then we have this, which makes a stronger case that at least one of the maps would be the outside surrounding area of the school. We can see over in the corner that we have an area to come up from what I would assume would be the sewers, which you'll see in a minute. And over to the right, we have the stairs to get to another area, and we can see all on the left that there's a whole place that we can go that's over there. It looks like there's some area in the back. It looks like this is kind of like an intersection in the middle of the map or something. Now on the website, this photo is labeled as cross paths, which gives even higher chance that this would be the center of the map. Next we have this outside area that is in front of the school, which you can see the clock tower in the back, which means we're more than likely facing the front of it. On the website this is labeled as small buildings, which isn't very descript, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to go inside this building or if it'll play any kind of role within it, but I do have a theory that I'll talk about in a minute. Now given that it's singular in the file, so it's building, not buildings, and the fact that there's a gate right there, and it's the main focus in this picture, I do think that we might be able to get in there. Now the doors and some of the windows are boarded off and it doesn't look quite like the way our characters did. It could have been a change from the beta or it could be that somebody else boarded them off. And I'll tell you my theory about this later after we look at a different promotional art for this game. Right now I want to look at the grate which means that this is definitely going to be a playable area and that there is a trap set here that we have to fall down which means we have to go into the sewers. Now this file was labeled as stalker but it is clearly the sewers so I can't say too much more on it. If we look over to the left we can see that there's a vent so we do have to be careful or else the strangler is going to get you. There's probably a wall that the giant can bust through. There's obviously no skylights in the sewer but there may be another thing that the slasher can get you. This is another sewer photo, although this one didn't have any descriptive names. But both of these pictures being in the sewer give more leeway to what I said earlier. That the path here will more than likely be the middle of the map, and this blue railing over here will be the steps leading back up from the sewers. All right, and then we have this art, which looks like, with all the gears, it's taking place inside the clock area of the school building. And this one was just labeled shotgun, and you can see in the background the doors and everything, but it also says library is safe with the words safe crossed out. Now my assumption from this is either the library is no longer safe or the killers don't want you to know the library is safe so they cross it out themselves. If that is the case then that means that our new goal would be to get to the library. Which is what brought us back here. Maybe it's boarded up because this is the library that's safe although I think it's small for a library. I think it's weird that the library is in its own building but you never know some places do it different. And the fact that there's a trap right outside of it makes me even more unsure that it would be the library and it's just a small theory, nothing to go on really, it's just guesswork and whether it is or isn't wouldn't really change anything. We can see in this one the gate is open, the stranglers there watching their victims but the way it looks makes me feel like this is leading into the garage. Looking at this picture of them ready to fight back and the others that we've seen, it looks like this map is actually going to be pretty big. It'll probably be even bigger than the inside of the school was. The last one I have for you was called Chad Stab, which I'm always behind. Now while we have seen plants and stuff around the buildings before in the other art, this one actually looks different. It looks a bit more further out from the school than the others do. Now since I haven't seen anything else on a third map, even though they did confirm that there will be two more, I believe they said that it would be at lunch, I think this is still part of the outside of the school. This will probably be along a pathway or somewhere behind the school which just goes to show how big this map will actually be. Now there are rumors that one of the maps would be a hospital and there's another rumor of a mall. Which a mall would make sense with teenagers and a hospital would be pretty fun as well. Now when brought up to the devs they neither confirmed nor denied either map. What they said is it came from a thing that they said a long time ago when the game was first in development about additional maps. 
As we can see, we might get one of those maps because we already have outside the school as the other, and the other one could come later on. Now things change in development, things get cancelled, things get pushed back, new ideals come out. So you can't expect both maps, or really either map, to end up in the final product later on. As a quick side note, if you've never played last year The Nightmare, you didn't get a chance to do the beta, you've barely heard anything about it, or if this is your first time seeing anything about it, on the website for the game, the developers have actually released a survival guide for those who have never had anything to do with this game or those who just didn't get to play the beta. So go check it out even if you did play the beta, you might learn something. So tell me, are you guys excited for the game? What do you think the third map will be and what map do you want to eventually see in the game? Leave it all in the comments and you guys know what we've seen. If you like the video, leave a like, share, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and come on back for more.